Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Icarus. So I've got a couple of corrections to make about last episode. Um, first of all, when I was testing this light, this lantern, against this wood rag torch, I wasn't looking in the right spots. I was looking right in front of me. But as you can see here, the lantern actually does seem to give more light off in the distance. Right, I was looking directly at the floor, and it kind of looked the same. But if you look off in the distance, the lantern is an upgrade. So I'm glad I got the lantern. Uh, thank you for pointing that out to me. All right. Um, also, when I was up here checking out the um, deep auto miner that's got the copper, and I said, well, it hasn't taken any damage. Here's the thing. Whenever there's a lightning storm, I'm always here at base. All right. And the lightning storms are always around the player. So the fact that there's no damage, you know, for my auto miner at the copper deposit is because I wasn't out there. So that's the thing. If you stay out there when there's lightning strikes, it could be a problem. Um, I don't expect to be out there during any lightning strikes. But, you know, just to be safe, I will start building houses around my um, around my auto miners. Um, I'm going to want to do another auto miner today. And I'm going to want to put it down probably on coal, I think, would be the uh, thing of choice because... I mean, I do have a lot of coal, though. <laughs> I don't know what I would put it down on other than coal. I don't really need aluminum that badly right now. Um, I'm sure I'm going to need aluminum, but I don't need a lot right now. Uh, I do need steel, though. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put it down on a coal deposit. Once I have one on a coal deposit and an iron deposit, we now have, like, steel. I mean, steel forever, all right? I went ahead and made a few more biofuel cans, but now I'm running out of fiber, which is always fun. I'm also just making tons of stuff. I mean, look at this. Like, just... Why isn't that doing anything? It looks like it's stuck. It's not counting down. It's not doing anything. Let's just do that to cancel it. Hmm. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but why don't we, why don't we just cancel everything? All right, and start this over. We're doing steel bloom. And we're doing... Oh, maybe because when I when it drags stuff in here, because I think when you, when you do this kind of stuff... It kind of drags things in here. Maybe it didn't have room for it. That's the only thing I could think of. So we're doing the steel bloom right now. When the steel bloom's over, we'll do the epoxy. And we'll just do as much as we can. Man, Hunter's pretty good for now. we got to keep that biofuel flowing. Now, I promised you guys a couple special episodes. And this is going to be another special episode. We are going to make ourselves a gun. We're going to make ourselves a shotgun. God, that sounds like Ferris Bueller. Shotgun, right? So that's what I need all the steel for, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang out here. I'm going to wait for all the steel to process. Um, this thing is really cool. The only thing I don't like about this machine is if you leave the game and come back, you have to remember to activate it. It doesn't automatically go on um, when you're gone. So I'm going to put this stuff down here because I want the copper uh, to go next. What else? I took some notes here. Um, what else? There is a waist-high gate, apparently. I haven't looked for it yet. I'm not going to look for it on camera because it's boring. I'll find it off camera. And somebody said to put my canteen in the water slot in my suit. I don't have a water slot, though. Oh, as a matter of fact, I need more oxygen. Yeah, I don't have a water slot in my suit. Um, so, yeah. And also, I did make the backpack, but I think I have to shoot myself back up into space to get the backpack. And I might get to that today. I might not. Honestly, I'm not really sure. Wait, if I leave the game and come, if I leave the game and come back too many times, it starts lagging really badly. So I tend not to like leave the game and come back because like what I would have to do is actually I guess I wouldn't have to leave the game. I I think what I have to do to go into orbit and get my stuff is take everything off me, everything in my inventory, all my armor, no weapons, no tools. I have to be 100% completely naked. All right, then I go up to the to the to the mothership <laughs> orbit. I grab my new backpack and then I come down here and then I have my backpack. That's kind of what I'm. Uh, how I think it works. Although I haven't done it yet, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. All right, that brings you guys up to speed on my notes. I think the next... You know what? Let's do this quest. All right, so... Oh, yeah, this is another big thing uh, last episode. Oh, hold on. There we go. This is another big thing last episode. So last episode... Um, oh, sorry. I totally forgot to set this up. There you go. So last episode, I did a mission where you, you have to go... You have to build a tower and then put a beacon on top. People were losing... They're effing mines because I took the beacon down and I lost some kind of beacon buff. I don't know what kind of, I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about beacon buff. I went back and watched the video and there was a buff down here. Um, I didn't look at it, but there was a buff down here from the beacon. Here's the thing. I don't know if the buff's worth worth the beacon. First of all, the buff would have been out here and like, when am I going to be out there? 
Um, so, I mean, why would I keep the beacon buff? Because, like, I'm, I'm assuming once I leave this area, the beacon buff goes away. I don't know. I didn't know there was a beacon buff. I don't know what the beacon buff does. I don't even know if it's worth thinking about. But we're going to find out today. Um, it is pretty early in the morning, so let me get myself situated, and we're going to go out and build ourselves a tower. Well, I was just about to head out to the mission, but look at what I found. All right. Time to delete mommy. Oh, man. She didn't even know what was going on. Um, oh, that's a pig. I gotta kill a pig, too. Alright, there we go. Alright, beautiful. Everything's dead. Hey, you. Little kid, come with me. That didn't sound right. Hey, you, um, creature. Come with me. I'll feed you. Don't worry about it, buddy. I was told that these guys are better to move around with because they... Um, now, if you're gonna go into a cave... I don't know, man. I feel like if you're going to go into a cave, bringing a uh, pet around with you, I don't know, man. I, I guess it depends on where the cave is, but they're going to, like, mine got attacked big time. So I'd prefer not to lose my pets. But if you're just going around all your auto miners collecting stuff and you're not going to be in the cave for very long, hey, come on, buddy. You can do it. Uh, you could definitely bring these guys with you. And I heard these guys can hold, like, a lot of weight. So they're just bas basically pack mules. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Let's go. Get the lead out. You hungry? Are you hungry? Because I got food for you. I got food for you. I just got to hope uh, What's-His-Face Kodos doesn't get out. Oh, man, what are you doing over there? What's going on with you? Are you tired? Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this animal. It doesn't seem to be really following me anymore. Um, it says it's following me, but it doesn't really feel like, feel like it is. It's just kind of going where it wants. I'm not sure what happened with the follow command for that guy. I basically had him unfollow me, refollow me, and it, and it fixed the issue. Uh, and I put him in there in the pen, and hopefully I will have a pet when I get back. Uh, about halfway here, I remembered I didn't take Kodos. Uh, so, what are you going to do? Uh, maybe I just don't want him to get killed. I don't really care. Anyway, so people tell me you could do this with just ladders. So, sure, I'll try with just ladders. Why not? Oh, another thing people were telling me to do is you could use foundations. But the thing is, I didn't spec into foundations. And I would spec into foundations, but if ladders work, why spend the point? Say stone frames, you don't really need those. So I don't use them. Um, okay, there we go. So if I could just do this just on the top of these ladders, that'd be pretty dope. Am I going to be able to... Can you put it above it? See, that's the thing. I don't know if you could put it above it. So I'm just going to pick this one up. I might fall when I pick this up. So be prepared for that. Um, okay, did not fall. So let's see. I've never done this with just ladders. Um, where the hell is the thing? There it is. It's like, don't tell me I didn't bring it. Six. And I don't know how you put this on top of a ladder, though. Can you? Oh, God. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, and then we'll just put a wood floor up here. Seven... All right. Can, oh, we can't put a look. Oh, oh, man. Dude, because I can't put it. Well, maybe I can't put it on top of a ladder. I can't put a wood floor up here because there's nothing for me to put it on. Oh, that sucks. All right. So let's try this. Six. Oops. Whatever. I'll get that on the way out. Come on, man. There you go. All right. And one more. And let's see if we can put it on top of this. There we go. Just gotta make it kind of oh, beautiful. Is it gonna fall? Um, it doesn't look like it's cracking at all, which is all right, pretty high up here. But I'll take it. Some I could have swore someone said in the comments they put it on top of the ladder. Either they can't, you can, and I just didn't get it right, or I was mis, you know, misreading the the comment. All right, so there we go. So now we have the buff on us. It is called the Watchtower buff. 15% sleep quality, 10% experience gain. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave this up here, and I'm going to move out of the range, and I'm pretty sure this is not going to like be all over the planet. So this will probably be out of range at some point. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, I can't tell which way I'm facing. Um, yeah, I still can't tell which way I'm facing. I think it's this way. Yep, there it is. Okay, still got the buff. I'm going to... How far does this watchtower go? Doesn't go the whole planet, right? That would seem crazy. Oh, this is some shit rewards, man. I know this food's probably okay, but it's it's very temporary. 
Um, I think I'm going to take this. I don't need a masonry bench, but more, more hedge, uh, hedgehogs would be nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, so I am going to start heading back to base. And let's see how long this watchtower will... Or what kind of range this watchtower has. Yep, okay. That's what I thought. So it doesn't have unbelievable... Well, I mean, it has a pretty good range, but it's not like it's going to cover the whole thing. I think that's a pretty good buff, but I'm only going to get it when I'm in this area. I think getting the beacon back is, is probably better because I could use it to mark things for myself without having to make my own beacon. I went ahead and took down that tower. And another good thing about getting the beacon is now I have a beacon for my next biofuel deep mining drill. Now, I went ahead and made the shotgun. All right, here it is. This is gonna be, I'm going to consider this my melee weapon. This is going to be like my... Uh, maybe a backup melee weapon if I don't have ammo or whatever. And obviously the bow is my ranged weapon of choice. Now, in order to make shotgun rounds, I'm going to need a lot of copper, a lot of gunpowder. I'm, I'm running low on sulfur of all things. Um, I'm going to need more copper too, but I've already got a copper deposit down. So um, we're going to come out here. There's a sulfur uh, deep deposit right there. I am going to build a little house around it. Um, I don't... What the fudge is this? All right, well, maybe we could use a shotgun on this thing. Excuse me. Oh, really? All right, that didn't really do... Didn't kill it anyway. Man, I did not want to use... That, that That looked like a lot of damage, by the way. Um, I didn't want to freaking use on this guy. I thought this was my pet, and when I didn't see a saddle, I was like, why doesn't... Oops. I was like, why doesn't my pet have a saddle? Oh. <laughs> All right, you can, you can kind of hang out in here, buddy. I don't have a problem with you. I'm just going to drop this stuff in here. Because I don't want it on me, and this is the closest spot for it. We gotta get going. Um, I going to grab my pet here. How you doing? Okay, so yeah, we're having problems with food. Um, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. I think they use extra food when they're uh, when they're being tamed. I, I could be wrong about that. It's it's just kind of a a theory I have. Uh, so oh, all right. Okay, so as far as far as these auto miners getting hit by lightning, I am not going to be in the area to have it get hit by lightning worst case scenario let's say i'm running up to my copper deep mining drill and a, a thunderstorm hits i'm gonna grab everything and i'm gonna run home well cage you're gonna run home in a thunderstorm you're gonna get struck by lightning and catch on fire it's gonna be awful yeah but it will keep my deep mining drill from being destroyed i don't think uh well i don't know maybe if the deep mining drills are close enough i know there's like a deposit around here i might want that might be close enough to my base to get struck by lightning, but the ones out here, they're not getting struck by lightning, because I'm not going to be out there. Now, even with that being said, I'm still going to put a um, a little base around it, because, yeah, better safe than sorry. Uh, I think what I'm doing right now is going to be pointless on these things, but I'm going to do it anyway. And Because um, I'm hearing a lot of things from different people. Some people are saying they're going to get struck by lightning. Uh, some people are saying, well, I had one that didn't get hit, but then someone else hit. A lot of information going on out there, guys. Uh, I'm gonna. Add, I'm going to add on. I'm going to add. No, I'm going to side in the way of caution, even though I don't think it's necessary. Again, if I'm if I'm out there and I'm standing around in the middle of a thunderstorm around one of my uh, auto miners, yeah, I, I believe it could get struck by lightning. Sure, uh, but I don't see a situation where that will ever happen. Um, but just because you can't see a situation where that will ever happen doesn't mean it won't. All right, come on, you little bugger, let's get out here. All right, and it should be around here somewhere. There it is. All right, we're going to leave you over here. Please don't be wandering around, you dumbass. Uh, he doesn't get his hit points. Oh, yeah, he did get his hit points back. All right, good. All right, so there we go, sulfur. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the floor down first and then see if I can put the auto, auto miner down. Uh, oh, I can't see. I can't even put it over the... Oh, see, I can't put it over it. So you can't put this down. So I'm going to have to put the walls around it. Seven. Yeah. I'm going to have to make I'm going to have to make more walls and come back. Will I be able to do it like this? Uh, why can't I snap it into place on the other angle? It can only go out that way. That seems weird. That seems weird. Can I can I get it to go on another angle? Um, rotate doesn't work. Variance deconstruct uh, reset format grid format grid. 
Yeah, I don't see where that didn't really help either. All right, I got something here that might work. So I put down the floor, uh, the wall. Then I put the floor on the wall, and now the drill can go over it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab these poles, and I'm going to put these on all the corners. Not there, though. Sometimes you got to put them on top to get them to line up properly. All right, and then I'm going to pick this up, and then put that right there. All right, cool. So I think that'll work. And now we have four walls here. Let's just go ahead and put the mining drill down. And I might as well start it up, right? No reason not to. There you go. It's a little loud, but that's okay. That is the sound of progress. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, face out, please. Face out. Face out. And this will be a door. All right, and then we'll put the door on and the ceiling on, and this place should be good to go. Six. I can't tell which way it's supposed to go. Put it, put it on from the inside. There we go. And I can even hang out in here myself if I need to. Little outpost. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to put down a beacon because I've got one, and that is awesome. So six. Put that right there. My water's low. Okay, no problem. No big deal. All right, so now we have a beacon on the map, so that'll show me where one of my miners are. I really, really wish you could name these. That would be... That would be spectacular. Hey, where are you going, buddy? We got more work to do. While we're up here, we're going to go up here and hit the copper one. Although I don't have what I need to make a base around the copper one. That's okay. We'll get to it at some point. So I, I spent some points here, and I'm going to think out loud here. And see what you guys think in the comments. All right, first of all, I need the fur stuff because that's the best thing I can do to bring into the Arctic that I don't have to spec into. And no, I'm not going to spec into polar bear stuff. Um, so I went with fur stuff for when I want to go into the Arctic. Now, should I just put all five points into the Wayfarer stuff? Because this is what I need to go into the desert. Or should I just wait until later? Because that's, that's pretty far down the road. Uh, so I, I'm kind of I'm thinking to hold off on that. The other thing I'm looking at is better food. Is the I wonder if the electric stove is worth it. And the refrigerator only takes 500 power. Here's the thing though I don't want to keep I don't want to keep farming up biofuel to keep the all the power going. So what I'm thinking is because I built down a river, maybe the water wheel might be able to do the water wheel. Somebody said you could you could use the water wheel as long as the the water is moving. So let's come over here and see if this water is actually moving. That water's moving. So I'm hoping I can do the water wheel. It might be next episode, actually. Um, probably will be. No guarantees. Change my mind all the time. Yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. So what I want to do right now is I want to do two things. I want to I want to check on... the. I already checked on the iron. I want to check on the gold node. All right. Um, actually, the gold node would be the only one I'm going to check on. I just checked on the copper and just put down the sulfur. So I want to check on the gold node. And I think I want to shoot something in the face with my shotgun. I think that would be pretty effing fun. And also what I want to do is I want to hit nodes on the way out there. Am I going to bring an animal? <sighs> you know, I don't think I am. I know I, just tamed, I know I just tamed animals and everything, and I've got animals I can bring with me. I'm going to not bring them because I'm going to be doing a lot of fighting, and I don't want them to get in trouble. I don't need to be chasing... I don't need to be chasing alligators that are chasing my my guys. You know what I mean? So I want to like uh, go mess with some stuff. A bear would be best, but I wouldn't. I would tangle with an alligator if uh, that's all I have to fight. And you know what this is, right, guys? This is a sit up in the chair situation. I don't have a lot of shotgun shells. I got about sixteen. So this is just kind of you know seeing what's what. Why do I need shotguns? Well, once I go into the um into the you know the Arctic biome. Could be pretty nasty up there. It could be pretty nasty. So, is this coal? Is it aluminum or coal? Yeah, that's aluminum. Okay. Or aluminium, as some of you like to call it. Both are right. Aluminum and aluminium are both right. Let's not fight, guys. It's Christmas. I know you guys will be seeing this day after Christmas, but still. Still Christmas. Alright, I'm going to get you for experience. And for your innards. Give me your giblets. What does this guy get? This guy get prime meat? I'm kind of low on prime meat, honestly. I've not been killing as... No, it doesn't. I've not been killing as many animals as I have been in the past. So, 
Um, I'm almost level 40, though, man. The experience goes crazy. There's actually uh, two talents you can put. There's one talent in a talent tree in the talent tree that you could put two points into, and it'll give you 15% experience bonus, but I don't think it's I don't think it's really needed, to be honest. That's a... Whatchamacallit? Komodo Dragon. There you go. Alright, gotta be a little careful here. Because, you know, you don't want those crocs... To, uh, you know what? I don't really think it really... Well, not that it doesn't matter. I don't want the crocs surprise me in doing damage. But it's not the end of the world. Got some decent hit points, some decent armor. You know, let's not be so worried all the time. It's not good for you. Is that a croc right there? Uh, another Komodo Dragon, man. Can't see him. There he is. Yeah, I don't know what's up with all the Komodo Dragons, man. Um, here, Here's a question, guys. What would win in a fight? A Komodo Dragon or a Crocodile? I don't know, man. Komodo Dragons are pretty nasty. I think Crocs are bigger, though. I think if it was in the water, the Crocodile would win. Outside of the water, I don't know. All right, so there's one over there. Oh, here we go. Oops, sorry. Was not aiming for you. So people told me that 52, when you hit, it's like the, the creature's armor. Pretty interesting. Come on, buddy. All right, come on. All right. Uh, not too impressed with that. Still better than the knife was, though. Oh, that's right. You could shoot quickly with it. That's... Yeah. Alright, let's shoot this one. Oh, got him in the head that time. Yeah, okay. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the shotgun. It's expensive, no doubt, man. That gunpowder is not going to be cheap. But you know what? If you want to get the best, it's going to cost you. Basically, the shotgun... Think of the shotgun as like a sword. An axe or something like that. Basically, what the, what the shotgun is going to represent... Is my up close melee weapon. I'm gonna use the bow at range. I might move to the hunting rifle at some point. Maybe not. I really don't know. Uh, but right now, my bow will be my ranged ability, and my shotgun will be my melee ability. All right, you. Oh, I just one shot at a croc. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna leave him in there. Oh, get out of here, you stupid Komodo dragon! Where are you going, punk? I'm not even gonna get to use my shotgun. Wait, what did I just kill? Was there two of them there? I'm not sure what happened there. It feels like I killed, like I should have killed them, but it didn't. I don't know. Whatever. All right. So if I aim properly, I could kill them in two rounds. Oh goodness. Okay. Damn. It seems more like three rounds, to be honest. Not hitting them, right? That's pretty expensive, man. Three rounds for a croc kill? I could kill them probably a lot easier with the bow, although this is quicker. Alright, I do like the shotgun. Uh, maybe I should spec into it in my talents tree. I will consider that for sure. There you go. Bring me them bones. What's up, buddy? You happy that I'm killing all the crocs for you? If I kill them, they can't kill you. Alright, looks like I gotta eat my food here. It's gonna go bad. So if you eat it before it goes all the way... See how it's almost spoiled? You eat it, and then boom, it doesn't spoil. And you do have to eat it a little bit earlier, you know, than the buff would wear off. But, I mean, if it's gonna spoil anyway, you might as well refresh the buff. Alright. Moto Dragon, you're fine. I don't care about you. I'm going to save the rest of my ammo in case I come across a bear. Let's get up here. Oh. What was that? What was that? We're going to come up here and check the gold. The gold extractor. Gold deep ore mining drill 
Blah, 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 blah. Auto miner. Gold auto miner. How about that? Alright, let's put on our good light source. Wow. That's a lot of meat, dude. I, I, I'm actually going to run out of room before I run out of weight limit. That's... That is uncommon, to say the least. Alright, here we go. This one this one I usually take a lot of damage on, so... Let's see if we can kind of negate most of that damage. Alright, and... Take all, go back in, take that. Put that back, activate. And get the hell out- Wow, how did they miss me? Guys, that's on you. That's on you, I mean... I couldn't have made it any easier for you, you dumbasses. They could have really messed me up, man. Ooh, a pig. I gotta get a pig. I'm, out of, I'm running out of... I'm running out of boar meat. Come on. I think it's trying to hit the bird. Yeah, that's what it was doing. Anytime you seem like you're missing like that, I think usually it's because the arrow is trying to hit something other than what you're aiming at. That's my... That's my uh, thought process on that. Well, I was going to end the video. I'm glad I didn't. I see a bear. Here we go. Come on, bear. Me, you, and my shotgun. Come on. That's right. Oh! Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. A lot easier to hit a bear than a crocodile. All right, shotgun's pretty pretty dope. I'm I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, we're gonna need some more room here. Actually, you know what? Throw out the leather. There we go. I got plenty of leather. All right, guys, I'm gonna call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.